supercavitation is the use of cavitation effects to create a bubble of gas inside a liquid large enough to encompass an object traveling through the liquid, greatly reducing the skin friction drag on the object and enabling achievement of very high speeds. Current applications are mainly limited to projectiles or very fast torpedoes, and some propellers, but in principle the technique could be extended to include entire vehicles. Physical principle, in water, cavitation occurs when water pressure is lowered below the water's vapor pressure, forming bubbles of vapor. That can happen when water is accelerated to high speeds as when turning a sharp corner around a moving piece of metal such as a ship's propeller or a pump's impeller. The greater the water depth at which the fluid acceleration occurs, the lesser the tendency for cavitation because of the greater difference between local pressure and vapor pressure. Once the flow slows down again, the water vapor will generally be reabsorbed into the liquid water. That can be a problem for ship propellers if cavitation bubbles employed on the surface of the propeller, each applying a small force that is concentrated in both location and time, causing damage. A common occurrence of water vapor bubbles is observed in a pan of boiling water. In that case the water pressure is not reduced, but rather, the vapor pressure of the water is increased by means of heating. If the heat source is sufficient, the bubbles will detach from the bottom of the pan and rise to the surface as steam. Otherwise if the pan is removed from the heat the bubbles will be reabsorbed into the water as it cools, possibly causing pitting or spalling on the bottom of the pan as the bubbles implode. A supercavitating object is a high-speed submerged object that is designed to initiate a cavitation bubble at the nose which extends past the aft end of the object, substantially reducing the skin friction drag that would be present if the sides of the object were in contact with the liquid in which the object is submerged. A key feature of the supercavitating object is the nose, which may be shaped as a flat disc or cone, and may be articulated but which likely has a sharp edge around the perimeter behind which the cavitation bubble forms. The shape of the object after the nose will generally be slender in order to stay within the limited diameter of the cavitation bubble. If the bubble is of insufficient length to encompass the object, especially at slower speeds, the bubble can be enlarged and extended by injection of high-pressure gas near the object's nose. The great speed required for supercavitation to work can be achieved temporarily by a projectile fired underwater or by an airborne projectile impacting the water. Rocket propulsion can be used for sustained operation, with the possibility of tapping high-pressure gas to route to the object's nose in order to enhance the cavitation bubble. An example of rocket propulsion is the Russian VA-111 SHK VAL supercavitating torpedo. In principle, Maneuvering may be achieved by various means such as drag fins that project through the bubble into the surrounding liquid, by tilting the nose of the object, by injecting gas asymmetrically near the nose in order to distort the geometry of the cavity, by vectoring rocket thrust through jimbling for a single nozzle, or by differential thrust for multiple nozzles. Applications In 1960, the USSR started developing a project under the code name THDTH squared TH degree TH run by NII24 to develop a high speed torpedo, an underwater rocket, four to five times faster than traditional torpedoes capable of combating enemy submarines. Several models of the device were made, the most successful a Euro M5 a Euro was created by 1972. In 1972 to 1977, over 300 test launches were made. By November 29, 1972, VA 111 SHK VAL was put into service with mass production started in 1978. In 2004, German weapons manufacturer Dill BGT Defense announced their own supercavitating torpedo, Barracuda, now officially named Supercavitia Render unto Wasserlaufka Paragraph a PER. According to Dill, it reaches more than 400 km per hour. In 1994, the United States Navy began developing a sea mine clearance system invented by Sea Tech Defense Corporation, known as RAMEX, based on a supercavitating projectile stable in both air and water. These have been produced in 12.7 mm, 20 mm, and 30 mm diameters. The terminal ballistic design of the projectile allowed it to cause explosive destruction of sea mines as deep as 45 meters underwater with a single round. 
In 2000, these projectiles were used to successfully destroy a range of live underwater mines when fired from a hovering Sea Cobra gunship at Aberdeen Proving Ground. Ramex is currently undergoing development by Northrop Grumman for introduction into the fleet. The darts of German and Russian underwater firearms, and other similar weapons are also supercarvitating. In 2005, DARPA announced the Underwater Express program, a research and evaluation bid to establish the potential of supercarvitation. The program's ultimate goal is a new class of underwater craft for literal missions that can transport small groups of Navy personnel or specialized military cargo at speeds up to 100 knots. The contracts were awarded to Northrop Grumman and General Dynamics Electric Boat in late 2006. In 2009, DARPA announced progress via a new class of submarine. The submarine's designer, Electric Boat, is working on a one-quarter scale model for sea trials off the coast of Rhode Island. If the trials are successful, Electric Boat will begin production on a full-scale 100-foot submarine. Currently, the Navy's fastest submarine can only travel at 25 to 30 knots while submerged. But if everything goes according to plan, the Underwater Express will speed along at 100 knots, allowing the delivery of men and material faster than ever. Iran claimed to have successfully tested its first supercarvitation torpedo on April 2 and April 3, 2006. Some sources have speculated it is based on the Russian VA-111 SHKVAL supercarvitation torpedo, which travels at the same speed. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Levov denied supplying Iran with the technology. Iran called this weapon the Hoot. A prototype named the Ghost, designed for stealth operations by Grigory Senkov of Juliet Marine Systems, uses supercarvitation to propel itself atop two struts with sharpened edges. The vessel rides smoothly in choppy water and has reached speeds of 29 knots. The supercarvitating propeller is a variant of a propeller for propulsion in water, where supercarvitation is actively employed to gain increased speed by reducing friction. They are being used for military purposes and for high-performance racing boats, as well as model racing boats. The supercarvitating propeller operates submerged with the entire diameter of the blade below the water line. Its blades are wedge-shaped to force cavitation on the whole forward face, starting at the leading edge, in order to reduce water skin friction. As the cavity collapses well behind the blade, the supercarvitating propeller avoids the spalling damage due to cavitation that is a problem with conventional propellers. In August 2014, Professor of Fluid Machinery and Engineering at the Harbin Institute of Technology Li Fengchen claimed to have developed a way to create a supercarvitating submarine capable of traveling from Shanghai to San Francisco in only 100 minutes, a speed of up to 3,600 miles per hour. Several problems exist in attempting to make such a machine, the sub would need to already be moving fast enough to compress the air to enable cavitation, difficult since they don't travel faster than 40 knots. Since traditional propellers cannot touch the water, rockets had to be used to propel traditional supercarvitating watercraft, which in a full-size submarine could only propel it up to a distance of 40 miles. And steering is virtually impossible since rudders would pop the surrounding air bubble, or simply break off when suddenly encountering. Lee claims to have addressed these problems by using a liquid membrane on the hull to reduce friction so it reaches cavitation speed, and steering by fine-tuning where the membrane coats the craft. Alleged incidents, the Kursk submarine accident was rumored to have been due to a faulty SHKVAL torpedo, though later evidence points to a faulty 65-76 torpedo. See also, SHKVAL supercarvitating torpedo, APS amphibious rifle, SPP-1 underwater pistol, supercarvitating propeller, list of supercarvitating torpedoes. References Office of Naval Research Mechanics and Energy Conversion, High Speed Undersea Weaponry Retrieved April 12, 2006, from http, wwwonanavymil slash, Savchenko YNCAV 2001, 4th Annual Symposium on Cavitation, California Institute of Technology Retrieved April 9, 2006, from http, 
CAF 2001 Library Coltec Edge 00 slash Savchenko PDF, Hargrove, J. Supercarvitation and Aerospace Technology in the Development of High Speed Underwater Vehicles. In 42nd AIAA Aerospace Sciences Meeting and Exhibit. Texas A&M University. Kirshner AL. Supercarvitation Research and Development. Undersea Defense Technologies, Miller, D. Supercarvitation, Going to War in a Bubble. Jane's Intelligence Review. Retrieved April 14, 2006, from http www.janes.com slash Graham Rowe, and Duncan Faster Than a Speeding Bullet. New Scientist, 167, 2248, 26-30. Tulin, MP Supercarvitating Flows, Small Perturbation Theory. Laurel Maryland, Hydronautics Incorporated. Neam JW. Numerical Simulation of Supercarvitation External Links, Supercarvitation Research Group at the University of Minnesota, DIR BGT Defenses Barracuda German Supercarvitating Torpedo, DARPA Underwater Express Program, GlobalSecurity.org on Supercarvitation, How to Build a Supercarvitating Weapon, Scientific American